Hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I just wanted to come quickly with a little tip, a little bit of information. One of the biggest lies that has ever been told, just one of them. And that is, we are all God's children. I repeat, we are all God's children, referring to inhabitants uh, of the world, human inhabitants uh, of the world. That's not true. That is not true at all. You are, we are all created in God's image. He created us, but we are not all his children. The Bible says that the father of all liars is the devil. So God cannot be all of, all of our father, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the father of all of us. In order to get sonship or receive sonship, you have to confess that you are a sinner and accept his son, Christ Jesus, as your Lord and Savior. That's how you get sonship. That is how he becomes our father, our heavenly father. But be, be, beyond that, no, you're not his, his child, okay? And I want you to know that because it's important. Because a lot of people, they're walking around thinking that they are saved and on their way to heaven and have all of the benefits of, of, uh, of Christ Jesus' death while we're here on earth. And you don't. You've been deceived if you believe that. Uh, you know, that's why I keep saying it's important to know who you are and whose you are. And the way you find that out is through biblical under, uh, biblical reading biblical references, biblical understanding, because a lot of people over the pulpit, they're not going to explain these things to you. They're not going to tell you that, or, or, or they might erroneously tell you that, but you're not, you are not. So it's important to get into your word, but it's really important that you know that if you are claiming to be a, a, a child of God, Yet you have never submitted your life to him, not one day in your life. You've never confessed your sins. You've never stopped sinning. You know, you are not a child of God. Okay. So, and and, and the doors are open. You know, the doors are open. Um, and um, he's ready to come into your life. But you have to repent of all known sins and, sub and conf you know, confess them repent of them and accept him into your life ask him to come into your life tell him you receive him into your life you submit yourself to him uh and everything about you you submit it to him for safekeeping and and, and whatnot so that is how you become a full blip full uh full, full fledged christian and or a child of god otherwise you are not a child of God. So please get that rectified immediately because no man knows the day or the hour when Christ Jesus is going to bust open those clouds or no, neither do we know the day or the hour when we may be taken away from this earth. Okay. And it's important to know that, it, you know, I mean, it's, 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 everybody doesn't care. I mean, it's not, that everyone cares. Some people, they could care less. They feel like, okay, I'll, uh, it's my choice. I can go to heaven or I can go to hell. So some people, they really say they want to go to hell, although they don't know what they're talking about because they don't know what hell is like. So you don't, you know, and some say they don't believe in it and blah, blah, blah. You can say you don't believe in it. That doesn't make it not exist. Okay. So, because cause hell is a place that the Bible says that it's, it's a, uh, 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 an eternal burning and, and it's not going to consume like it never you never go into ashes or anything like that it's just a consuming torturing burning <laughs> I don't know about you I don't want to experience such I want to be in heaven with Christ Jesus with my father okay so anyway just want to encourage us out here you know, because it's important to know that, you know, we're dispelling myths and untruths here on these channels. So please give, we'll talk to you later. We love you so much. Bye-bye for now.